Are we live? It looks like it. Whoop, here we go. Session recording started. Are we good? I think we're good, yeah. Let's go. All right. All right. Francisco says that that we're good. Hey, if Francisco says that we're good, we're we are we are good. Hey, hey so welcome everybody. Um we're gonna do a code walkthrough and uh, a talk about the the, uh, the the reboot and the U projects. So welcome everyone, and we're all glad to, to have you here. So let's just let's just jump right into it, Seb. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the goal, gang. We're gonna um, we're gonna go through a high level overview of kind of what this thing is all about. Uh, talk a little about the repositories, um, and if we have some time, we're gonna go through the code. And a, a lot of you who are here live have seen the code and, and know what you're doing, but the audience maybe that we're talking to maybe has not. And uh, then we'll, we'll talk about some ideas for integration. So I'm going to play the, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the noob who, who doesn't quite know what the hell's going on and just kind of waiting my, my, my way through this and talk to Seb, who's going to give us, the, um, uh, who's going to kind of help, help me out here. So let's start with the high level overview. Seb, there's two projects, there's a reboot, and then there's you what's what's your goal here what's going on with, with these things why why i why are you doing this why am i doing this because it's cool <laughs> <laughs> i think that um so yeah that's the the main reason and then what is the reboot project the reboot project is a game that i started to kickstart this whole uh, way of thinking, which is really rethinking how applications are built and designed from the ground up. So basing everything on the user first. And the user is this U project. So the U project is the code base for the user and the reboot is the game or the network that I'm trying to create at the same time. So, so reboot is the network. U is one of the like sort of like the first app, if you will, on the network. Is that kind of what the thought is? Yes, the U is the first app of the reboot project. So, yeah, U is the okay. base for everything because you are the the base for your your world. It's 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 all about you. Okay, good. Uh, Gang, if you got any if you got any questions, pop them in, in the chat. I'll do what I can. Yeah, why is it called, so? Uh, so Greg asks, why is it called reboot? Great question. Why is it called reboot? Uh, the name came up uh, last minute, but it came up, and it was the name that I chose. I think it's a computer, so it needs a reboot button. That's my thinking. <laughs> So it's it basically it's it's like you're 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 re, it's, it's time to reboot everything that that's kind of going on and so, sort of like a, a way to kind of reboot the way that we're thinking about ICP not ICP but the way we're uh, a, a reboot the way we're thinking about canisters. This is the user owned canister that you had had talked about a, a while ago. So it's it's kind of like a reboot. It's a restart, start from scratch, right? Reboot and get, get a, a a fresh instance going on. Is that would exactly you say that, exactly that? exactly it. Once you get into the rab rabbit hole of it, you realize how many things need to be like redesigned. And I'm not saying that anything that was done before um, needs to go to trash. It's just a restructure. So that's why we would. And yeah, everything needs to be like restructured in a way that makes sense in this new paradigm. <laughs> Hey, Francisco, saying we're we're rebooting collaboration, and and that's the that's the feeling I'm I'm getting. Where there's 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 something there's something about this group. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of it's it's kind of wild. But we're we're working together in ways that I I really have not had a chance to to work with people and uh, and things that that we're all doing. So I would agree, Francisco. You're right on the money on that. Hey, let's let's jump in. Seb, is there anything else before we we, we jump into the overview of repositories? Is there anything else that you wanted to to share well, that we haven't said? about reboot and you yet reboots like this idea it's the network and and you is sort of like the the the, the first app so to speak on the network is that is there anything else that you want to add about that set for before we move on um i wrote something i think we're creating a social network that function like a computer and that builds itself so it's actually something that could go could grow really fast um, if you think about the history of technology and like 
how things move and how things accelerate. This network is, uh, yeah, this network could grow really fast. I mean, there are some limitation due to just the reality of life and the reality of like limited resource that we have. But in theory, it could, could grow really fast. Hey, cool, Greg. I see your question about code style. Let's let's. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna kind of hit that now because we're gonna go into uh, and talk about the repositories. You know, quick quick comment to to feedback on your question uh, on your on your point, uh, Seb. I definitely feel that I think there's there's gonna be some, there's some good chemistry going on with this group, and this this could actually I'm seeing this reboot as could be like the the sort of the infrastructure that kind of gives us a chance to kind of work all all together and create these new things. Okay. Uh, Seb, what do you want to talk about on the repositories? I've got, I'm ready to kind of share my my screen. Uh, I've got my VS Code ready. I've got my, uh, I don't think I've done a poll on Reboot recently, but what do you want to, what do you want to show on the repository side, Seb? Uh, we can explain that there are two repositories already. So the repository for the user canister and then the repository for the Reboot project. So this one contains more like standards and also a board that I've created to register into the network. So what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, sure. Share what do you want me to, to, yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you want what do you want me to to share here exactly? I uh should we go to GitHub or uh to look at that? What do you want me to show? Yeah we can go to the GitHub and uh well let's start with the, the user canister. The U is that the U can the 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 U canister of reboot or U yeah it's the okay. U okay all right great so let's do that let me see here um let me see. okay and we'll just do the whole screen all right uh let's not okay so here yeah i'm sitting in it right now you want to show that do you want to go through the code here is, is it this what what you want to show Seb? uh yeah i was thinking to go over the instructions to deploy it all right sounds good let's do that right here okay Should we try to go through a, uh, uh, let's see, should we go through a deployment here or what What do you want to show? Yeah, deployments. Can we do that? I know it's tough on the live, but we have, we yeah, have time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, well, look, so the, uh, I think the thing is I've already, I guess we can, do you want to go step by step over here through it? I, I could give it a try I've because I've already done it. I could start a new identity, but then I don't have cycles. So uh, I could, we could, if you want, we could do a re a, a, a rebuild. I could do that. What do you think? I just did that today. Yeah, I would love to do that. I can actually send you cycles, and we can take the time to go through uh, the steps. All right. So you want? Okay. So you want? Okay, gang. So please, <laughs> this this might be more of a comedy than an actual uh, a geek session, but. If you want, Seb, we can go through the, we can go, if you want, I can just do step by step because you, you did a pretty good job, but I kind of followed it and it worked. You want to go through the whole thing, identity from, from scratch here, from creating a new identity and all that kind of stuff. Do you want to do that? Yes, 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 yes. If you're okay, okay with great. it, I know that yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's not easy to do a live demo, but yeah, it's, it's you know, going to be fine. Hey guys, I'm I'm gonna ask for your sympathy and your forgiveness in advance. So let's 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 just do it. So first, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna open up a new window here. DFX start clean, right? I'm just gonna let that so go over there. We don't we don't need to start the replica because we are mm -hmm. going to deploy on GIC directly. Okay, got it. Okay, I guess it's it's my old habit. I just start DFX no yes. matter what. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So, so we got that, uh, did that. So now we're going to create a new identity. So I'm going to go, you know what, I'm going to cheat. I don't know you guys do this. I'm, you know, I, it's the jury's out if I should copy and paste or just, uh, uh, right. <laughs> it's right, okay. uh, right. Right. So I'm going to, what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this, uh, 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 PK, uh, PK, Life. Okay. PK live, PK live, live and shaking. Okay, so 
So I'm gonna, so this is the first command, right? That's gonna create my, my new identity. And it says I'm live, good. Okay, next. Uh, so I'm gonna use it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use the identity name. So just right. to explain what we're doing in case someone is not familiar, we have already, uh, Peter has already downloaded the source code of the U repository. The U repository contained the Motoko source code for the user canister that we are going to deploy. And so that's essentially we are deploying ourselves to the IC. A little version of ourselves. And yeah, and, would, and Peter, yeah, I, yeah. I, would, I would suggest that you add, when you create a new identity, that you add the flag so that you don't need to give a, a password, uh, like the plain text thing, like so that you don't need to, uh, to enter a password every time you, uh, you do something. Okay, so what would I, uh, what would I, is, is, is it too late or do you want to throw the, the command? I think it's me? too late already. Yeah, it's too it's late, too but late. maybe, maybe it, you recreate one because uh, you, you remove this so that it's, uh, I don't know, Seb, you know better, but I think it will make trouble. Okay, sounds good. We're good, mm -hmm. we could recreate it. Let me see, Seb, what do you think? We, don't have that, we don't have that much uh, common to do. I think it's okay, you just have like, three commands to go through so it's fine okay so we have pk live so we're, we're 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 moving on so i've got it i'm using it uh i don't have cycles seb how can i do what what do i need to do here for you to send me some cycles so I can okay understand. so i need your principle i need your identity so if you're on defix identity get principle <clears throat> i will be able to send you cycles roger and what i'll do is i'll post this here, we post this in the chat, obviously, so you don't have to deal with it. And uh, hey, you know, by the way, if anybody else wants to send cycles to this account, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, a tip jar, tip jar, cycle tip jar. <laughs> All right, so. Okay. And then I could do, what's the, it's, what's the cycles command that I got to do? So, peace. Hey, I'm not tracking if anyone's got um, DFS cycles. Okay, okay so, I sent use five trillion cycles. Okay. I can just do a dash dash IC here, right? Defix cycle balance IC, yeah, dash dash IC. Right. Is it balance IC or, okay. Go all right, go. I got all right, we're good. All right, great. So there is a whole process that you that that you go through. Uh, we're going to shorten that over here because we don't have time to go through that entire process. But there is a way to get some cycles that if you're part of OIS, uh, you guys can go ahead and do that. All right, so we got the identity. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm just going to follow the, the the steps here. I'm going to create a canister in the subnet. So explain you're using this subnet can you i i think the, i think the reason why you're doing on this subnet is because there's gonna be faster performance be, between the canisters is that why you're 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 uh, spe you're specifying the creation of this uh canister in the subnet yes so we are all going to be canisters and so when we communicate between each other and also all the other applications if they are in another subnet we it will still work nothing that we do is going to break but it will be slower um, and also it's not necessarily trivial to deploy on a specific subnet like some subnets for example the subnet that i was in in the beginning it's an old subnet that i have access because i was like from an old canister that i deployed an old cycle wallet and now i don't I didn't find a way for uh, other people to join me in the subnet. So it's better to use this one. This one is a subnet that is uh, easily findable because it's the European subnet actually. Um, and so that's also the best way to maximize performances between each other. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Uh, now, if you guys saw this, this message says mine's already created because I've already done this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to defer here a little bit. This is not in the steps. I'm going to do a stop, stop you, right? Uh, oh, that's interesting. So
Now, shouldn't it see here when I do a stop? Uh, I, so I, I need to stop and start my canister, right, Seb, to upgrade it? Uh, no, so you have already created a canister. Uh, yeah, because you already have your canister ID.json. So either we need to start from a fresh repository or we need you to remove your canister ideas.json temporarily and then you can put it back so because should i just this, delete the file yeah but make sure to save it first so maybe yeah, canister, i got it maybe you can you can rename rename it to old yeah or here it's it's okay yeah like that right Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. So then, okay. So then, I I could just kind of create it then from from scratch because we're, we're we're gonna make a new one here, right? So. Yeah, that was the so, idea. Okay. Got it. Okay. Good. Oh, perfect. So, all right. So then we're gonna create the new. So, it's gonna create it like that, right? Grab this guy. So what's the word, guys? Is it are, are, are you a copy and paste like me? Oh, there's a tick mark there. Let me get rid of that. That looks good, right? Create new on the subnet, right? Yes. Okay, there it goes. Let's Great. Go. Excellent. And I've got my new, I'm under my new identity. <laughs> so we're good. Okay. All right, it's just doing its thing. Let me jump back really quick. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions yet here okay all right so we're gonna okay boom canister is done great all right and then we're gonna build it right which is what this command does right yes because right now we have just created a container but the container is empty right all we've done is we've defined it and we, we've told it what sub it's going to be on so this build command is going to build the code uh which is here build you on i on the ic all right, it's gonna give us a bunch of warnings, but we're gonna just gonna ignore those warnings because they're not fatal. Uh, all yes. right, great. So, right? Okay, great. So now the next, so the, so the canister is ready. We're ready to install it. We're gonna, well, what? You've built the code. Code's been built. Uh, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the, we're gonna install the canister, right? You can install the code. You built, that's what the build does, right? The build command. We built this WebAssembly right? module, and now we install the module inside the, the the container that we have okay got it perfect uh i i copied and pasted this earlier i have a notepad over here where i could do it easier so here's the i've got it right peter k live let's see call this peter live all right great so what i did is i i just took i because i knew um i wanted just to again do a, a copy and paste on this easily so i took what you did here and i replaced your name with of course my name which is what I did here. Let me just make sure I got that right. The install you. Yeah, it's good. Okay, good. So we got it. I'm going to grab this guy right here. Oh, and there's no upgrade. I'm not doing an upgrade. Or I did an upgrade earlier. Is that right? Canister install UIC argument. Does that look right? Canister install UIC argument. Yep. Okay, good. We're good. All right. So this, this command right here installs the code. On the canister, and it sends an argument to it, and the arguments in, in in the code. If we have time for it, we'll go for that. We'll go over that in a minute. But here we go, yes. magic moment. Yeah. Right. Magic moment. Here it goes. Install. Boom. I'm there. Great. Excellent. Okay. And then the next thing I got to do then is I'm going to tell the world. So that at this I'm... point, at this point, you already exist as a digital uh, entity, but you haven't really joined our network. And so the next command is to join the network. I mean, to register right. in the network at least. Correct. And I'm going to, right. So like you said, I'm, my canister is alive. It's got, <clears throat> it's got me on it. It knows, it knows about me. Uh, and I'm going to, this, that's what this reboot daily user check is over here. Right. And I yes. think I did a copy about this earlier. Uh, view word wrap. Okay. There we go. So, Okay, so that's where I'm gonna put this one over here. I'm alive like that. And I'm, I'm alive. Call live. 
I'm a, I'm I'm alive and live. There we go. All right. So like that. I'm gonna hit it there. I'm gonna grab, copy, and paste that. Pop it in. Canister. Yo, you did a good job with this this tutorial. Uh, I was able to follow it. Oops. Oh, tick mark. The old yes. tick mark. Because of the, the you have um, a single quote after the I, which you need a backslash to. Oh right, 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 right. Okay, we're just gonna do it this oh. way. Or you can just backslash. It, yeah. Well, it's okay. Backslash. Okay, that's that. That's the, that'd be the cool way to do it, right? If I really want to show a back tick, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So let's do control C here and do it that way, right? Okay. I forget it. Maybe We're not going to worry about a tick mark. We're not going to worry about a tick yeah. mark. Uh, yeah, because the rest of this looks good, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's... okay. Maybe it's not. All right. Yeah, it's all right. We're not going to worry about that. Okay. Done. So then now we want to verify this, right? We should be listed like you've got it in the readme. Uh, we're we're going to hit this guy right here uh, real quick. I'm, I'm, I, I got your comment here. Let's hit it. And this is what it, this is a this, so the first time I hit this. This is basically a listing of everyone's uh, call. What the, what's the code here? The code is everyone's uh, a reboot daily reboot user daily check the text from each user from their own canisters that they've done a reboot daily user check and right that's what this is a, a list of this is everybody since since, since a while right yeah everybody since the beginning of the the that we've created the network so this simply records the name a canister id and a time as well as the the mood that you send it so this is currently the only like board of the network that we have. It's very, very primitive. It's a simple log system. And I just wanted to make something really basic for the the first steps. But of course, this should be like more defined and improved in future versions. OK, but this is like the first, this is like the equivalent of a ping, right? This is the, the base, the base start of, of, of the whole thing. All right, I think we've gone through the deployment part. Let me uh, stop the screen here really quick in case let's have a, some discussion about anything else you guys One want to One thing about. I, I think you could also so show is your uh, canister ID itself as a user, uh, as an interface. That is also really basic. I uh, should probably add it to the, to the tutorial as well if people want to see it. But you can take your canister ID. Yep. And then do... <clears throat> the same. When is my uh, canister ID is going to be in the canister IDs, right? It's right here. Uh, okay, and do what? Low. Yeah, yeah. This. No, this one is the old one. No, it's the new one. This is. Oh, oh is it? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This thank one you. is the new yep. one. Right. And you can access it what? from your from your browser directly. So you do. Um, Ah, go to through, your browser. Uh, through, through Candid, right? Not, not even Candid, directly. So you copy paste, uh, you paste yep. the ID, dot row, um, dot. R, A, W. Oh, R, like that? Dot row? Uh, row, like row. <laughs> like raw chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Raw <laughs> chicken. Good. <laughs> dot, yeah, dot ICT0 dot IO. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Oh, and it cool. will actually show you yourself. So this is you. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we can see your name. We can see that you're live. We can see your friends. And you can also receive messages and receive friend requests. So if you receive messages and friend requests, uh, it will show show here. So this is like you said, this is like the start of a, 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 a primitive, the, the 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 basic fundamental building blocks of a of a of a social network is kind of what you're what you're this is what you you were talking about earlier. I am gonna copy and paste that right here into my notes so I don't forget it. I'm gonna do it this way. Bam! Great. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah. Um. 
let's see. I'm going to jump really. I'm going to stop sharing really quick just to take a quick. Uh, let's see. How come it's not? For some reason, it's not letting me stop my. Let's see. I can't stop presenting. That's kind of strange. Okay, you stopped. I slipped, Thank I you. It for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, let's see. <laughs> does anybody have any? Does anybody have any questions or or comments that they want to to throw? You can either throw it in the chat if you're not comfortable saying, or if you want to to bring up something or 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 ask a question or anything. So you you, you all just watched a noob do it. Right. I mean, I've gone through this before a bunch of times, but I, I did it live again. And thanks with, with uh, Seb's hand hand holding, I was able to make it through. All right. OK, let's uh, we got about 20 minutes left. I would like to, Seb, if are, are you good with going? I I have an idea to go through the U code. Do you want to do that at all? Yes, I think it's interesting. OK. All right. So what I did was let me bring my screen back up here. What's the comment there? Someone's got a comment here. Just go. So yeah, we just so, go through the guide on. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Mark, that's basically it. Go through the guide on, on GitHub and request the the cycles. And if you go through the cycle of requests, that's all you got to do. That's that's basically it. Just <laughs> just do what 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 dummy like me did. Just basically. Uh, except you don't have to ask. Don't ask Seb for the cycles. Go through the process. Uh, and uh, you'll get the cycles added to your account, and uh, you should be good to go. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. it's pretty simple. It's pretty much simple. It's pretty simple. All right, let's do a little bit of co of a code dive here. Uh, let's share a screen. So what I did, Seb, and I don't know how you want to do this, so it's up to you because it's your it's your code. The my thought was this. Let me show you what I, I did. I I collapsed all the functions. Um, if uh, just visually, if did you want to maybe kind of do a really quick through through the functions really really fast, and then uh, if we want to dive, if we have time, we 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 could dive down. Or what were you thinking? So. Yeah, I can. Uh, so there are a few different, I would say, functions, and we could classify them in in four categories. Okay. Um, we have really the base like of the user which would be maybe like is alive and the version of the user okay let's then we have the second category i'm just gonna do an overview of the category and then we can dive into it yeah, yeah we have fine, the, fine. Um, everything that's related to the friends so everything that is related to the friend request then we have the messaging system and then we have the http so essentially just the user interface oh and actually we have the five type of function everything that is related to joining or interacting with the reboot network. So uh, already you can see that this code is divided into five type of, you know, interaction and modules. And each of them, I believe, could be actually mod modularized, which is something we can talk about um, later. So we can start with the base, maybe the definition at the top. Right over here. Uh, actually, even even uh, higher than that. Yeah. So here we have, to, of course, all the imports from everything that is needed. So we import a few base libraries. I tried to keep it as simple as possible because I thought this was like going to be a version zero, and yeah, just I just wanted to go for simplicity. And then we have the declaration of the actor. So shared color equal creator actor class user canister and that's where you specify your name so essentially when the canister is created you can specify a parameter to the canister which is the name and it creates the canister with the name and we could have like birthday uh location like we could have more information of course but i again i wanted to keep it simple so just give it a name and just throw it so that was that when I so when I did this command here earlier, right? This um, when I did this with the parameter where we ran into issues, right? This one, uh, right over here, right? That's what the dash argument does. This command here, right, is the one 
that when I installed it, right, it passed. This was the this is the dash dash argument command. It passed this argument exactly. of Peter live into into this guy here, into exactly. right there. Right, that's that guy. Hey, one one question I had is what is the I I haven't seen um and and the kind of questions I had were like code that I uh, styles that I didn't see in the Motoko bootcamp. What is the use of the uh, the, the purpose of, of, of the word this? What does that serve? This is to reference the actor, like for the actor to reference himself in the code. So okay. for example, if you need to get the principle of this actor, like if the, if the actor itself needs to know what is my address, you, you will run a command which is going to be principle from actor this and it uh, will okay but is, isn't it because now we created a class and this is an instance of the class you just saying that now i create an instance of the class by doing the, the this exact yeah okay okay all right. Uh, so let's see. Noob, noob dude here. This is like a bunch of variables. Your setting. I see version. Okay. This is that Nats time. Uh, nothing here that's kind of strange that I can see. The one thing that did stick out was friend, but you've defined friend over here, and friends is actually over here. So you may want to go through all this, but this is where you're setting up all the types for the various friends, right? That's what that is. Uh, Let's see, you go through, you're setting some very, and by, by the way, if anyone's got any, any question about this, throw it in the chat. I kind of want to whisk through it. It's 6.32. We have 6.32 a.m. my time, but um, we got about 15 minutes left. Uh, you're creating the stable var. Stable vars are ones that stay uh, after, uh, in case you don't know, these are variables that, that stay constant even through upgrades. You can upgrade the canister, but these variables do not get uh, wiped out. Uh, other variables might, but stable ones aren't. This is your alive, latest ping. Okay, good. All right, Seb, what's the next function that you want to show? Uh, alive, uh, the one that we just, uh, what's what's next, Seb, in the, in the hierarchy here? So we could talk about the timer, the system timer. So I, I set up a timer so that the canister okay. would kill himself after 24 hours. Which is not nice. something. <laughs> it's it's not something I think that is like part of what a user canister should be by default. But in the game of the Open Internet Summer, we had a rule that you had to check out every twenty four hours. So that's why I said it like this. Um, let's let's take the, a look at in, that. This is related to the context of the Open Internet Summer. So the time. So is that is this the line over here, or which which line yes, are, are, are this one? Okay. Line forty-five. Okay, line forty-five. So so let's see here. Let's see if noob noob can figure this out. So let daily goes timer. So there's some sort of a function that kind of kicks in on the timer on the timer class, which runs. Let's see, nanoseconds per day. So explain this. Explain this command here. Yeah, it's so this is actually a system functionality. This is why you can see the system keyword, which actually is a new thing in Motoko that I discovered uh, I discovered recently. <laughs> and it's, it indicates that this function is something that relies on system functionality. So actually relying on the underlying protocol that we are using, which is ICP. And this thing set the status of the user to dead after 24 hours without any any ping so if the user is oh. not alive, like not doing anything to his canister so this okay so this command is 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 setting a, it's a recurring timer in the system and it's going to recur itself every nanoseconds per day and it's going to run the function kill is that it yeah exactly okay great okay and the function kill is right here and it looks like it says like right now what's going on the the current time and if if right now is is a, a, a less than the latest ping the latest ping is when the user did a ping and, and we'll look at the latest ping if it's less than that then you're not alive so what you're basically saying here is that if the current it, you you run this every it, you run this this kill command every nanoseconds per day and if your ping is uh, now minus latest ping is not greater than the nanoseconds, which means you haven't done it in X amount of time, you're no longer alive. You're dead. 
So if I, and if I went back over here, like you said this earlier, and I did this thing, it, it would show me as dead, right? Because right now it says alive is true. So in an X amount of nanoseconds, this thing is going to expire and I'm going to be alive dead, right? Yes, exactly. All right. Yep. All right, cool. All right. What's next? What's the next one? Let's see here. We got, uh, we got like 10 minutes left. I don't know if there's any comments in the chat. What else we got said? What's the next one that you want to show? Next in the hierarchy. <laughs> I think the next thing we could do is to go to go over a friend request. So you could actually, I could actually send you a friend request, and maybe someone else it. can also also send his uh, his chemistry ID in the chat, and we can do like some some friend request. So let me do let me actually do a friend request to you. So I think you posted okay, your chemistry ID. No, you did not. So, uh, let me go ahead. You want me to post my my chemistry ID in the chat? Yeah. Okay. So that should be this guy right here. A second. And in the meantime, guy. I'm trying to answer this question. I deployed my canister using DFX version 1.17. So already I don't, there is no version 1.1.17 of DFX. Um, DFX, you should use the latest version. Seb, why don't you switch to your screen I, for some reason, it's not letting me turn off. I, when I, I go back on the thing, it won't let me stop presenting. So why don't you kill me and show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, make, make it stop. <laughs> OK, OK. So <laughs> I'm going to share your screen. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, yeah. So I am actually going to go to my personal um, Oops. So paste, if you would, set, paste the command, the friend request call, the DFX call that you're going to do. If you would uh, paste that in, in the chat so we can see that. Yeah, so actually, I'm going to just change the color team. I know that people usually prefer this one. And I'm not outside today, so I can allow myself this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this function, reboot. Um, I'm going to send the user send friend request. This enables us to send a friend request to another another person by defining the by inputting the principle and a message like hello. Um, and one thing that is really interesting here is this line because this line actually we are attaching some cycles to the call. So this is something that actually is not used currently too much on the IC. And I'm not sure exactly why, because it's so interesting pattern. I know that some people in the call will agree with that. So this, in our network, this represents the energy. As we've said before, this represents the energy. So essentially, I'm sending you some energy, and I'm saying, can I be your friend? The reason is that this message will actually cost you some energy to because you will, you will receive it on your side. And on your side, you will receive it with this endpoint. And treating the message will cost you some, psych, some, some energy. And so I am sending some energy to you know, showcase that I really want to be your friends. And then if there is any issue, I just uh, catch the issue here. And that's it. So the command that I will run is the ethics canister call IC U and then reboot user and friend requests. And I will send you sending some energy. And so now if you go back to your canister and actually I can do it for you. We should see, if I go to the browser, we should see dot row dot icp zero dot io. Yes, so we can see that you have a pending request here and you can accept it on your side. So I don't know if you want to share your screen now so you can. I see that. Yeah, 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 I see that. Okay, all right, cool. 
All right, let's do that. You know, by the way, how do you zoom uh, on the sessions thing? How do you zoom in? Sh and like, I'm gonna when when you were sharing your screen, you know, it was like you know this big on my on my screen is I I can't see the command to to do a full screen share. Uh, when I mean when I'm when I'm looking. Uh, okay, so so I'm gonna go back to my command and I'm gonna do a DFX canister call you. And you should do. Um... I get see. friend request. What am I doing? Get so it's going to be get friend. Uh, reboot user get friend request. Is that it? Yes. So it's going to be DFX counter DFX canister call you dash IC reboot user get friend request, which is going to return to me presumably the friend request that I've got, like that. Okay. Exactly. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, so then great. So, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. And the way I, you know, um, okay. And then how do I accept this? We're, uh, we got like four minutes to go. How do I accept this friend request now? What do I do? What's the command? What's, what's the call that, uh, that I do here? Uh, so you have a reboot user handle friend request. It should be user handle friend. Ah, handle like friend request. Gonna, yeah. Got it. And uh, what do I have to hit anything with that, or I just do it? I'm just I'm just going to accept it, right? So there is an ID which is uh, associated with oh. every request. The ID and the accept which is, boolean, which is, which is just a, a simple counter for now. Got it. Got it. Got it. And then now, accept if you if you say true, you will be accepting my friend request. If you say false, you're refusing the friend request. Roger. So the ID here is zero, right? Yep. So I'm going to do a DF. Now, I'm, I've, I've done a lot of stuff with through um, uh, Candid, but we'll, we'll, we'll do some command line here. So it's call you on the IC, and I'm going to do a reboot handle, reboot handle friend request and then help me out with it with the, with the syntax here i'm gonna what op, what do i do here open up a uh or if you want to post it in chad uh, seb chat uh, post in the chat what i should put next here in in the parameter it's going to save everybody the agony of watching me type and retype it yes uh so it's gonna be let me see so zero and then true just like this you want the argument right Yep. Thank you. That's it. Perfect. Inside, inside a single quote, right? Yep. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Thank you. That's good. Again, save everybody the agony. Uh, like this. Yeah. You probably need to add a space between the end the of friend request. request and the parameter. Yeah. And I think you're good. All now. right. All right. Well, magic moment here. All right, boom. And if I go to my browser, like you did earlier, and I go here and refresh. So I got one friend. Boom. I have a friend. Excellent. And you have another and Ooh. you have another request apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what to do now. So I'm I gotta copy all this down. Okay. So look, we got uh, we're our, our sessions got like one minute left. I think we we, we if you stop me uh, from presenting, I think we can go a little bit earlier. Um, pr try with no params and oh, okay, excellent. Tr try with uh, uh, Ethan says Great try points. with no parameters and it will prompt you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I will do that. I will do that. Okay, cool. Uh, look, we got about a minute left. So so what's I, I guess the, the question for you, Seb, is what's next? Where do we go from here? What what are the new functions? How do we help yes. you? How can we do uh, either pull requests or click into it or et cetera? What's, uh, where do we go? Right now, my next move, move and the next direction that I'm going into is that I want to make the user as simple as possible. And I want to enable anyone that is here to work on those modules like the friends. So someone is already working on a backpack module, which would enable the user to essentially own items in the backpack. Um, Ailey is working on the boots, so we are already trying to see how we can make actually 
an object and a user, what is the relation? How, how does it work if the object itself is a canister? How does the relation work? So we're already trying to solve some issues. And now this morning I was actually drawing on the board. Uh, I was thinking about the pyramid. So uh, imagine that you have a temple canister or a pyramid canister. How do you make it for the user to be inside of it? And so it's a complex problem, but we are designing some solutions. So they could be, for example, in this user canister, there could be a location module that stores the information of the location of the user. And this could be accessed by the application or by the by the temple. So if the temple wants to know, like imagine that the temple has a enter functionality, and you can only enter the temple if you are in the location across it. Um, so if you think about, yeah, maybe there are a few locations that are realistic that you could enter the temple. So maybe there are four doors, like four or five doors. And if you are not in those places, then the application will reject. Um, and so this location module needs to be trustworthy because the user could actually, you know, say that he's in one place, but he's not. So there are a lot of interesting discussion and reflection that are happening right now. It's really interesting. My, my role, I think, is really to set this first standard for the user, like really basic. So people, everyone that is here could actually start building some modules um, the, as I said, there is a module for friend. The, the friend was implemented in the version zero because I wanted to already start the network, like having some interaction. But this friend functionality should be already a module. It's not really part of the, the core of the user. The user should just be able to add new modules. So essentially, we are building a big user application with many modules. And people are already building other components like objects, uh, location, and who knows what what is next. Um, that's gonna be that, that's gonna be interesting, kind of to to track that. I think uh, a few more examples will, will will be helpful, especially as far as you know, if if I'd like to get involved and I want to build a module, you know, how would that what would that look like? So I think when you can get to like module number two, um, uh, it it'll it, it'll uh, it'll it'll be cool, awesome. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey. So yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, the, the idea now I think is really to host sessions um, and I will join and try to help people understand how they can build in this new model and w what module can they build and how this would connect. Um, and then we also pretty quickly, we will have some questions about how do we monetize because of those cycles? How do we, how do we make sure that there is not also malicious modules because you could actually implement for example i implemented um i think it's zero zero one cents or zero one one cents right now for the friend request so it's pretty okay but what if someone decides to implement a module and the function cost like 100 billion cycles and everyone just got stolen so we have those type of questions to answer cool uh, all right. So I and now that I actually I, I can see here on that um, the listing that that shows everybody uh, that that shows all the users that are alive also has their principal ID. So you, you have the great way to make friend requests. Uh, Ellie, I've I've copied your your principal. I'm going to be <laughs> sending you a friend request. Uh, Seb, I, I hope this was helpful for everybody. We we said that they were going to go for 45 minutes. Uh, we're four minutes over. Um, I think we'll maybe we'll 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 cut it. We'll quit while we're ahead, uh, and and a good session, uh, Francisco. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the kind words. And uh, I guess we'll we'll see what's what's next. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Seb. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a, a good useful session for people that are are watching and uh, uh, live, both live and 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 recorded. I think that's that's it. I think it's time to say aloha. Right? That's it. Aloha uh -huh. means uh, means hello and goodbye. <laughs>